live for another broadcast of Brown County Sports on BC Hornet Sports. BC Hornet Sports brings to you Brown County Little League Baseball and Softball. The high school and junior high softball, baseball, volleyball, football, and basketball. These broadcasts would not be possible without the support of our local sponsors. Let the sponsors know how much you appreciate them bringing the broadcast to you. Proceeds from the advertising and donations help to pay the expenses and help Hope Through Faith Ministries to help local sports programs and activities bring speakers to speak to our Brown County students as well as other programs such as critical life seminars and much more. We hope you enjoy the broadcast on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to BC Hornet Sports in the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling. Give them a call at 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Steve Surratt, Lisa Surratt with you on the broadcast today. We're in South Fulton in Astoria for boys baseball today. Uh, the uh, best view you're going to get is the one that we have up there for you as a uh, uh, that's the camera that, uh, that's actually the best camera we got, but we've got to shoot through the screen. So with that, uh, that's the view we have today and uh, what's going to go on with this broadcast. We're uh, just a few minutes away from game time here as we had to try to fight to get the Internet up and going, and I pray that it works really well for everyone uh, today. With that, uh, we're going to take a quick station break, and we'll be back after these messages. Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Larry Denon County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Denon County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rigs since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. 
Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. At Land Guys, we specialize in recreational property because we speak the language. We connect sellers to the next generation of buyers who share a passion for land. At Land Guys, we provide industry leading marketing while ensuring a smooth and hassle free experience. We will make you the most money for your property. If you're in the market to sell, contact one of Illinois' top land brokers, Land Guys Toby Stay at 217-257-6096. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers full and half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. Has your home been devastated by fire, smoke, or water damage? At Service Master Restore, our technicians are more than just talented professionals. They're caring people, ready to get your home back to normal while keeping you informed every step of the way. Backed by over 65 years of experience, we've helped countless homeowners just like you clean up and rebuild from a wide variety of disasters. When disaster strikes, you can count on the expert restoration team at Service Master Restore. Napa know-how. Hello, Earl Flack, your locally owned the K-Nap Auto Parts Store. Summer bodies, summer hot. Oh, what the heck? I'm just talking about summer savings. We've got turtle wax on sale. $6.49 for polishing compound. Meguiar's hot rims and all-wheel tire cleaner. Hot. $6.99 for a bottle. Get the Meguiar's line in our store. Wax on, wax off. That's right. Detail cloths on sale. Got scrubs, got towels, got all the good stuff to keep that car clean. Get the good stuff with Napa Know How and thank you for your business. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports and the Screen Heating and Cooling pregame show. Now we're ready for the Blessing Health System. Uh, keys to the game brought to you by Blessing Health Mount Sterling Clinic. They're keeping you close to home for family medicine care, 521 East Main Street. Same day appointments are available. Please call 217-773-7105 for an appointment today. Keys to the game on the pitcher's mound. Don't want to walk people. Walks equal runs. We've seen that happen time and time again. Next uh, from the field, can't make errors in the field. Errors, as we saw yesterday, lead to runs. And so that's out there and available. And so with that, on the bat, got to put the bat on the ball. Things happen. Other teams make errors. They hit clumps of grass. It's early spring, whatever. But put the ball in play uh, for f- to get some runs. And so with that, that's your keys to the game, brought to you by Blessing Health System. And then... We're going to get ready for our uh, starting lineups here in a moment uh, to let you know. Let's see. I'm trying to look at some things here. I thought I had Astoria. I do. Astoria comes in with a record of 1-6. One 1-6 and six. One and six for Astoria. Our Brown County Hornets come in at 5-6. and six. And so that is... The records coming in today. Starting lineups look like this for the Brown County Hornets, who will be batting first today, uh, visiting. And it'll be Colin Dieterle leading off. Uh, Maverick Henry batting second. Um, Matt Boylan batting third. Uh, Rabarczyk batting fourth. Maxwell fifth. Bus sixth. Rice in the D8 position seventh. Sefton in the eighth and Cassing in the ninth. Uh, let's see, for the home South Fulton Rebels, it'll be uh, Jonas Shaw on the mound. And then it will be 
Tucker Stamball behind the plate at first. Caden Mitchell, second base, will be Cooper Davis. Your third baseman will be Samuel Riggins, a shortstop, will be Easton Sullivan. Your left fielder will be Landon Wise. Your center fielder will be Ben Sheridan. And your right fielder will be, let's see here, Braden Mustard. And so that's what it looks like as I explain the ground rules here today uh, to get started in this contest. So we'll try to get our game changer back up and going with today's contest. Brown County and Astoria. Beautiful day. It's starting to cloud up. I think we're supposed to get some rain later this evening, Lisa. It's a beautiful day for a ball game. And so temperature is great. Green grass, yellow dandelions. We're ready to go. Pitcher's finishing his warm ups as we get ready here. And I'm here to bug you instead of having yeah. my own game. There's going to be some people at home that are happy about that. That you're, I'm here to pick on you. Yes, I think you're right. And uh, th there'll be some people at home that'll be sad that I'm not doing it by myself. I don't think there's a single one with that. You I'm don't sure think so? I doubt that. I don't know. Have I got you turned up in the system? I think I do. You probably don't. Can you hear yourself today? Yes, I can. Better than I could the other day. And that is the tough part. When we're trying to broadcast from both the softball and the baseball diamonds and there's technical difficulties, I do have to give him credit. He is the brains for the technical stuff. I can troubleshoot some things, but boy, once it gets past my basics, then I'm struggling, and we were past that the other day, so I well, think we're ready. See, and you can see on the road that uh, it's just an extra challenge on the road where to place the camera, uh, how, to, how much where the internet's going to come from, and, and what's the quality of the internet going to be, and we got to usually slow the speeds up of the broadcast just so that we can get it out there for everyone to see, and it looks like we're getting ready to go. Shaw is ready on the mound, stand ball behind the plate, and Dieterly getting ready to step in the box today so for Brown County. Three. Want to thank uh, Dot Transportation for providing the starting lineups while ago. Forgot that. Go to driveforDTI.com. DriveforDTI.com to find a driving job just for you. Dieterly grounds the ball to the shortstop. That'll be Sullivan. Picks it up, throws over to the first baseman, Mitchell. And that's 4-3. 4-3 three. Three on the out on the first pitch. And that'll bring up Maverick Henry. 4-3? Didn't he go to short? Oh, yeah, 6-3. Thank Sorry. you. You're I, trying to confuse me. I called it right, but I just didn't uh, get it right. Let's put it that way. Ooh, nice Mav, right Maverick into Henry. center field. Pop. He got a good hold on that one. Sherrod makes the catch out there for the second out of this inning. Bring it up, Thomas Boylan. And I don't think anybody is doing, I haven't seen. Flynn's got his. Yeah, well, he's probably it? doing game changer, but I can't find it here. First pitch to Boylan. Called him a strike. Gonna back out of that and back back into that program. See if we can get something showing up. He looks, looks in. It. And Boylan gets a piece of it. Crash. Hope that's not on the truck this time. Oh, sorry, dear. O2 pitch on the way from Shaw. Here's the wind and the pitch. Ground ball back off the pitcher. That's going to be an infield pit for Matt Boylan if he can get over there. And he does. It's a wide throw. He's going to go to second base as he doesn't even stop and gets a second on the air. That's going to be air on the throw. I believe the third baseman made that play. And so that's going to be an air on the third baseman. I'm, I'm going to give him an infield hit mm -hmm. and then an air. Uh, on the throw, which got him to second base. I was going to say an E5 for the second base placement. So Not for sure if the pitcher didn't take that off of his leg just a little. Yeah, he did. That went right off of his leg. That's going to put up the fourth place hitter, Rebarchek. 
Steps in from the right-hand side, deep in the box. So he gets ready. Here's the pitch. Strike one called on the outside corner. Next pitch. Low for a ball. And Boylan takes third with that. And boy, we got some static. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the uh, Wi-Fi causing that. Gotcha. Not much we can do about that. Wind and Wi-Fi. Next pitch. Ball. That makes it a two-two. Or 2 1, excuse me, with two outs. Hit that one foul. That'll keep it 2 2. Or 3, excuse me, 3 1, I guess, on the board. I guess we're not going to have Game Changer live today. Oh, I would not. That I think that is a wrong. It's a 2-2. Two, two. I thought it was 2-2. Two, two. He hit that one, so it makes for a 2. And that's what the official's given. So getting it corrected there. Two balls, two strikes. Deuces are wild. Get a piece of it. Bard, bring it home. There we go. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, deuces wild. The runner at third base, Brown County would like to get him home and get the run outside. That'll make it a full count, 3-2. Bar check to the plate, 3-2 count. Next pitch. Vlad it's heading to right field. Right fielder's got a beat on that mustard, and that's going to end the inning. With Brown County, and uh, we'll be back with your inning stats after these messages. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Uh, you know, inning stats, in the inning stats on that, Lisa? Yes, sir. There was no run scored. There was one hit, one error, and one left on. All right. First three brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Lisa, who's up for? That would be Easton Sullivan, Jonah Shaw, followed by Caden Mitchell. That's the first three. Will be your shortstop, your pitcher, and your first baseman. No score in this contest. As we're down in South Fulton today for you, possibility of rain tomorrow. We got two ball games on store for you tomorrow. This is game four for us this week. Tomorrow will be um, five and six, and then if we get Friday in too, that'll be seven games this week we've done. We kind of made up for uh, not doing a couple of weeks, or we will have by the end of next week, because usually we do about three games a week is about 
the limit on our schedule to, so that we can have a life other than broadcasting. But reality, we both kind of missed it the last two weeks. But I'm a fair-weathered broadcaster. I'm not going to set out when it's cold. Staten with the wind-up in the pitch. It'll be Staten and Bus, the battery for Brown County. Nailed as it. that's taken for a strike. A one the count. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball. Nope, called strike. Oh, two. As We're a batter, you got to want to swing now. Brown County gets all their games in this week. Uh, all five for this. Hit to the right side. Deerley's up in front of that. Scoops it up. Took walks it over to the bag. And over to first. And that's the first out of this inning. That'll bring up the second place hitter, Shaw. Jonah Shaw pitches for him. Here's the wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss at State and fastball. It'll be a strike. He said he's the scene three. He figured he might as well go up there swinging. Here's the wind and the pitch by Staten. Outside for a ball. Makes it a 1-1 count. That'll make it 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. On the batter, Shaw. The wind, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a low fastball. Makes it one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the wind in the pitch. Ball outside. And I'd, I'd have to look, but uh, yesterday, the young Mr. Connor Flynn won the game yesterday on the pitching mound. Pitched all five innings. One, I believe it was a one-run, one-hit ball game. Tipped that one to keep himself going. Yes, I was on the road yesterday, so didn't get to see it and or hear the game yesterday. Two balls. Two-two. Nope. Mm-hmm. What do you got for a count? That's what I have. 2-2. Two, two. Staten looks in. Here's the line. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. His first strikeout of the ball game. That'll bring up the third place hitter, Caden Mitchell. Mitchell at first base today. Steps in from the right-hand side. Standing about midway in the box. Here's the pitch. Ball. Next pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. That'll be Boylan. He'll, or Henry picks it up, throws over to first. For the out, that's 6-3 on the out. With that, no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on bases. We head to the top half of the second inning. It's a 0-0 ball game. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. Specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons. Commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. ADI, located in Golden, is one of North America's largest pattern tiling installers. We've helped farmers create water management systems for over 40 years with pattern tiling across farm fields, generating proven data showing a boost in yield and greater profitability. Changing weather patterns do not have to cost you yield dollars anymore. Start with a free estimate now by calling your local ADI representative, David Lohman, at 309-280-2411 or by visiting our website at agdrainage.com. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. We're down in South Fulton here in Astoria, or up, I should say, up and to the east, 0-0 zero, zero after one inning of play. Lisa, who's the first three? Brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency. First three will be Maxwell Bus and Rice. I think... 
think. That means things or will be a little... Rice D, yes, that would be correct. Yeah, Rice is a D. Who's he DH and four? He is DH and four, uh, Staten. Thank you. Got his name wrong in the... Uh, Game changer. Throws goes down to second. Here we are ready to go. Mr. Maxwell's bringing it on. He's a scholastic ball player too. Is he? Mm -hmm. He is on their second team. Pretty All right. certain. Here's the pitch by Shaw as we start the second ground ball back through the pitcher's mound up the middle. Shortstop can't get it either. That's going to be a base hit. That couldn't have been much more up the middle. I think it was right over the second base bag. Yeah, it just like went. That one didn't hit the pitcher, so it just kept hitting that ground and rolled on. That'll bring up Jack Buss. I miss hearing Jack on the girls' side. Well, Jack... Uh, Got to be quiet right now because he's out here. Let's see. Nope, I got to go back to the other. And Maxwell takes that one with the sign of a bunt. Runs on down to second. So the first one is the ball. Bus comes into this a 226 hitter with seven RBIs. The pitch. Low gets away. That's going to put Maxwell over. Yesterday, Brown County pretty aggressive on the bases. I look for them to stay that way. They've got some speed. Here's the pitch. Strike called. Steps in, 2-1 on the count. Here's the pitch. Hit, oh, oh, let's see hit by the ball. Hit by pitch. Hit by pitch. i got to look this up. That gives him five that he's on been the year. Hit. Five oh. on the year. And he's got a designated runner. And is that Blakely? Uh, it's number 15. That looks like Henry, Micah Henry, maybe. I think there's a sheet in there if you can find it. With a roster. Or I can find it here. Really quick for you. It is Micah Henry. Thank you. That brings up Dylan Rice. Rice, a... He's batting 364 is Henry. what we're showing here. First pitch to him. And Henry made it on over to second. Stolen base for him. Stretch. And the pitch. Strike called. Makes it strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Here's the stretch. You can hear Buss. He's in the dugout now. Strike three called on Rice. He thought that pitch looked a little outside as he took it. And that will bring up Jack Sefton. Trying to look here. Sefton, a 308 hitter on the year. Here's the pitch to Sefton. Ground ball back to the pitcher. He pitcher. feels it. They've got a run down with Maxwell at third. And he gets tagged out. So that's going to be one unassisted on Maxwell. So you just make that up a Maxwell's thing. And it's a fielder's choice for Sefton. As far as the at-bats concerned. So he does not, it gets counted as a, not as a single, but as a fielder's choice. Fielder's choice. Gotcha. Yep. Pitcher made a choice of going after the, the runner, as, runner. A, mm -hmm. as opposed to the other. And here's the pitch to the left-handed Cassing. 
First pitch is a strike. Here's the next pitch. Swing in to miss. Strike two. Two outs, runners at first and second. Brown County didn't want to leave them. That'd be three men left on base already in this ball game. We left three on in the first yesterday. Pitch. Ball. One two pitch on the way. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Stretch and the pitch. Base hit into right center field. That's going to score at least one as Micah Henry makes his way around. Throw to the plate is going to be late. And the runner, go, Cassing, goes down to second base. So that'll be a base hit and an RBI for Cassing. And we talked about errors in the field. There was a possible, what I would call it, we're not going to mark it as an error, but it's an error by the outfielder throwing home on that play. They could have kept Cassing at first base and kept the force play in at first and second. Now they've got to go to first, probably with the ball. Two outs. Brings up Dieterle for the second time. First pitch to him is a strike. He hit the first pitch last time and grounded out to the shortstop. Was out 6-3. He takes it to left. It's going, going. It goes to the fence. Going to get two RBIs on this. He's going to get at least two bases. He's going to try for three. So he gets in there hard. Slides in safe for a triple. That'll be a triple for Colin Dieterle. That'll put Maverick Henry back in. Did he get a base hit his first time up, Lisa? No, he popped up to center. In the dirt. Ooh. Dieter Lee will stay on third since it was close here at the home. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Popped is short. He takes it on the dribble. Bear hands it. Throws over to first and gets the runner. 6-3. On the out, but not before Brown County gets three runs in the inning, puts him up three to nothing in this contest as we head to the top half of the third. At least I'll have the box score for you when we get back. Hi, this is Brad Cassing at Ray Insurance Agency here in Mount Sterling. We want to invite you to give us a call at 217 773 3851. For all your insurance needs, uh, you may know that we are experts in farm insurance and also crop insurance, but what you might not know is that we do homes, autos, commercial business, as well as a wide array of personal insurance coverages. Please give us a call at 217-773-3851. We're located at 128 West Main Street. Interested in solar for your home? Confused by the information available on the savings and tax credits available? Or if any of the options will work for you? Call Scranton Heating and Cooling at 217-773-2626 and let the comfort man take away the confusion and plan the best system for your home or business. They will visit your home or business, evaluate your unique situation, then Scranton's will sit down with you and discuss each option, giving personal service and planning. Scranton Heating and Cooling. Visit them on the web at comfortman.com. Once or twice, 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 twice. Back, he, Lisa Sred, you got the box score for us before we give the first three? I do. There were three runs scored on two hits, no errors, and one man left on. It'll be Riggins, Sherrod, and Wise here for the first three in this inning. 
And there's the wind and the pitch. Line drive, Thanks, base hit into right field. In comes Maxwell. Gets it back in quickly as a base hit by Riggins. Came up swinging. That'll bring up Sherrod. Ben Sherrod. Stretch by Staten, winding the pitch. There's a strike. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Got him swinging. Stretch and the pitch. Ball outside. Nice block by Buss. Kept it in front of him there. Good job. One two pitch coming from State, and he checks the runner first. Back in time. One two, here's the stretch. Umpire calls time. Stretch by Staten. Here's the pitch. Swing, strike three. Nice job by Buss to catch that low pitch. That'll be out number one. And strikeout number two. Correct. That will bring up Wise. Stretch by Staten. Pitch. Ground ball off the tip. Foul. Stretch by Staten, the pitch. Ball outside. Makes it 1-1 one, one, mm -hmm. or 1-0. One, 1-1-1, oh. one, one, one. One. that's what I thought. Stretch. One ball, one, one pitch. strike, one out. Ball outside. We talked about this yesterday a little bit, about everyday difference in umpires, what's going to be a strike, what's not going to be a strike today. And... Uh, um, as we said on Monday, the low strike was being called the high strike and the wide strike were not. And then yesterday, the low strike was out and the outsides of the plate were in yesterday. Three so, one count when he checked the runner at first. Some people want to put in a AI umpire, make it consistent. Ground ball, it's going to be slow. They'll tag, nope. They tried to turn the two, almost got it. That's going to be a fielder's choice. And he, uh, actually, that's, what do they call it? Out at first. All right. So well, with that. There was no run scored on one hit and none left on and no errors. All right. With that, we'll be back after these messages. A year I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go Hornets!
For over 100 years, the people and businesses in Brown County have counted on Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling to assist them with their banking needs. As the only locally owned and operated bank in Brown County, Farmer State Bank looks forward to continuing this partnership for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank is locally dedicated to all your banking needs. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling, locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back with you on BC Warner Sports as we head to the top of the third. It's Brown County 3 and South Fulton nothing with Brown County coming to bat. First three brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Lisa, who is that? That is a Good question. You think I can see yours? How about Boylan Rabarczyk followed by Maxwell? You have a cheater board. Yeah, you could bring your tablet and do that for the girls. It makes it a lot easier. I have to recharge it, though, every night because it uses about 50% of the battery. I guess after I've read, maybe not quite 50%. Boylan steps in from the right side. More than 0 for 1 on the day. And Shaw steps on. Here's the wind in the pitch. First pitch to Boylan. Swing and a strike. Strike one. So does it give you that too so you don't even have to see? I don't even need to be here is what you're telling me. No. no I'm, I, now I can do it by myself. I always like broadcasting with you. Right field base hit for Boylan. That's going to make nice him one. one for one for the day. That'll bring up Rabarczyk. Rabarczyk 0 for 1 on the day. It's running. It runs a little bit behind, though. I will tell you that. Ah. Here's the stretch and the pitch. But if you go to the teams that are on the teams on there, that's where you can get your batting averages and so forth. When I have time before the game, that's what I write on my sheet. Gotcha. And then with a good lead, or bar check. He hit. says, I don't like getting hit because I'd rather be swinging the bat. He got hit on his uh, elbow device. Protector, good thing. So he's going to be okay, but that's why he wears that. He's got that elbow just in a little bit. So hit by pitch. That makes it runners at first and second with Myron Maxwell up, and he's one for one on the day. Here's the pitch. The line drive in. Second baseman catches that little liney, and he's out. One for one goes to one for two. First out of the inning brings up Jack Buss. That means the dugout is quiet right at this moment. <laughs> Here's the stretch by Shaw. Here's the pitch. Boylan's going to third. Throw down to third is going to be late. Runners moved in on that one. And I can't say the throw was exactly late as the third baseman was in front of the bag and had to go back and tag him. If he'd been on the bag, Boylan might have been out. So both of them with stolen base. Rabarczyk down second. Boylan to third. Puts Ducks on the pond with one out. Popped up right side. First baseman's in foul territory. Makes the play. That'll bring up Dylan Rice. He got called out looking at a third strike last time up. It's not like him. A stretch by Shaw. Good leads by everybody. Taking his time. He wants the batter to step out on him. He's not doing it. Sometimes they do that 
the pitcher does just to make the guy step out. Here's the stretch, the pitch. Line drive uh, deep. Yeah, that one's caught nice by the center fielder. Catch by the center, though. For the third out, Brown County got no runs on what two hits and no errors and two left on base. One hit. One hit. So as we head to the top or the bottom half of the third, Brown County leads three to nothing. We'll be back. When I started at Dodd, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose Dodd, and I never left. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign, or call Henry Automotive at 773 90 66. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more as we get ready to go here. Top three batters for them will be Stambaugh, Davis, and Mustard. First pitch is a strike to Stamball. Next pitch. Ball low outside. Makes a 1 1. The wind by Staten, and here's the pitch. The 1 1 inside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. The wind again, here we come with the 2-1. Strike call makes it 2-2. Stanball thought about swinging at that one. Yeah, he'd like to take that back. The wind the pitch, ball low. Full count. Here's the wind, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, third strikeout for Staten. That'll bring up the next batter, which will be Davis. He's the eighth place hitter in this lineup. Here's the wind in the pitch by Staten, outside for a ball, ball one. Here comes the 1 0 pitch, swing and a miss, makes a 1 1. Here's the wind, the 1 1 pitch. Fouled. I ought to make it 1 or 2. One ball, two strikes, one out. Dayton looks in, winds, here is the one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three, four strikeouts for him in this contest. And he works kind of like Blakely and Mason Henry as he works quick on the mound. He gets the ball back, gets the signal, throws the ball. Doesn't allow that batter to get too set in that box. Strike one. Much faster than the softball girls. Softball used to be that way. Fouled off, strike two. Used to be like that because, uh, I don't know, the all-sub girl, the Hodge, um, 
girls worked quick. I mean, and they were good pitchers in softball. And softball's gone away from that a little bit. Popped up foul. That keeps it 0-2. Everybody's wearing them stinking wristbands now for the signal for the uh -huh. coach. Coach, you, you sit on a bucket and give you one or two or three fingers where the, you know, mostly the pitcher and the catcher could see. Now we've gone to armbands. And we and they spend a lot of time look, looking at them. Yeah. It's not just a quick look. It's a study. And if you got to study that hard, then... So they must be giving them pitch and location, which... Like I say, I don't know if I'm 100%. You'll see Jack Buss. He actually is getting the call from Hooch. You see the black pouch on his back? Yeah. That's a radio in his head like the major leaguers are wearing now. And so Coach Hooch will call the pitch, and he just puts the fingers down. It's closer to the old-fashioned style. Got a piece of it to keep himself alive there. because you 3-2. 3-2 two. Two count, two outs. On the batter, Mustard. Here's the wind by State, and then the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Five strikeouts in the ball game for Eli Staten. And no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on bases. We head to the bottom half, or the top half of the fourth. Brown County leads 3 to nothing. We'll be back. Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. Back with the MBC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. So we get ready to go to the top of the fourth. First three, Lisa, brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Jack Sefton, Wyatt Cassing, and I'll go back up to the top for Colin Dieterle. Sefton got out in the second, but it was a fielder's choice. You know, one of the things, Lisa, that I take note of, besides, you know, ballpark food, that being number <laughs> hey, one on the list. That's his number one. But uh, I think Brown County boys have the classiest looking uniforms in baseball with the gray with the green pinstripe highlighted by the yellow. Uh, just a really classy uniform. Here's the pitch. Ball low. I had to look at my own nuts going, okay, how could he be a run scored and a fielder's choice, but he got on first by a fielder's choice. That's correct. See, I'm beginning to understand my handwriting. The Yours pitch. not. Outside. And I'll make it two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Ball back up the middle off the pitcher. That's going to be a little tough. Stefan yeah. Sefton's got some speed. They get it there in time, though. Nice scoop that was... by the first baseman, Mitchell, as the shortstop, uh, Sullivan, came across and got it across to Mitchell. Brings up Wayne Cassing. Yeah, it almost changed that with the pitcher getting a glove on it. That has changed the speed, but not enough that the shortstop didn't go ahead and get it and get it down there in time. It'd probably been a base hit if the pitcher hadn't got a glove on it. Slowed it up just enough. Mm -hmm. What casting do his first time up? He had a single to um, right field. Okay. And got an RBI for that and was, was one of the runs that did end up scoring. The wind in the pitch. Popped up. Left side. And that's going to be out of play. Third baseman gave up on it earlier than the shortstop did. Yeah, I saw that too. 
It's like, nah, it's out. I'm stopping. I can see it. I don't need to run that hard. No balls, two strikes on Cassing. Left-handed hitter. Back of the box, right up to the line. Here's the pitch. Ball, one, two. One ball, two strikes. But here's the pitch. Cassing hits the ball into right center. The right fielder thought he had a beat on it. It's over his head. That's going to be a base hit. Cassing going to try to get in for two. The speedster and does give him a double on that play. And safe and sound. Good job, Wyatt. Puts a duck on the pond for Colin Dieterly. He's hitting it about, uh, I think, came into yesterday's game with eight RBIs, and I think maybe he got one yesterday. And he's got two today. So he's almost up to a done dozen. He could get one here. He hits that one long and foul out of play. How do we back in the woods? Maybe somebody <laughs> will find a mushroom while they're back there. Dieterly steps back in with an 0-1 count. One out, casting down at second. He's got those middle guys occupied. Here's the pitch. Strike called, makes it 0-2. Dieterly steps back in. Shaw steps on the rubber. Stanball gives him the sign. Here's the pitch. Curve ball up and in. He decided I'll take down on that one so I don't get my noggin hit. You better not hang that over the plate. It'll be out of here. I'll just tell you that. Here's the stretch and the pitch in the dirt. 2-2. Two -two. Two two pitch, one out. Strike three called. Everybody but the umpire thought that was outside. <laughs> and that's the only one that it matters to. Yep. Oh, put up Henry with two outs with a runner down at second base. Brown County's already left four on today. Ball low. Shaw looks, checks the runner. Big holes on either side. Inside for Henry. That's ball two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the 2-0 pitch. Makes it 2-1. Stretch. Here comes a 2-1 pitch. Strike call 2-2. Two -two. He thought he held, but not enough. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the 3-2 pitch coming. Ground ball foul. Nice grab by Coach Hoots. We'll give him a five out of five on that on uh, skill and form. <laughs> Here comes the 3-2 pitch. Popped up right field, high fly. The right fielder's coming in. The second baseman says I has it for the third out. 
And I believe, what did Brown County get one hit on that? One hit, one left on, and no runs scored and no errors. All right, with that, we'll head to the bottom half of the fourth. Brown County still up, three to nothing. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! First pitch hit into right field for a base hit by Sullivan. Who do we have up next, Lisa? Shaw followed by Mitchell, and in the hole then will be Riggins. What's Shaw done today? Shaw was a strikeout in the first. It's actually, they're just batting around the second time. Runner goes, popped up. Oh, catch it, and he's trying to get back. He's going to get back. He does. Ooh. Caught by Maverick Henry, the shortstop. And he he got back in time, but he was literally all but touching second base. And he saw what was happening. <coughs> he slid and got back. Here's Mitchell. What did he do his last time? He was a 6-3 out. Oh, hit him, hit by pitch, put him on. Runners at first and second now with one out. And that'll bring up Riggins, the third baseman. And he was a 4-6 out. He was part of a double play. Double play is exactly right. Here's the stretch in the pitch by Staten. Strike call. Pitch. Low for a ball. Makes a 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. Runners at first and second. Pitch. Here's the wind and the stretch and a pitch. Foul. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number six. That'll bring up Sher uh, Sherrod, Ben Sherrod, who and is the center fielder. He struck out in the second. Stretch. In the two out pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Strike one. This guy's had two strikes on him every time he's been up, hadn't he? 
Um, yes. Ball inside. He's had 2-1 count on him, and now he has a 1-1 one, one count. And the pitch. Ground ball. Dieterle makes the stop. He's got to pick it up and get over. <laughs> and they nice get him as cover. he dives and gets the ball glove back in there. As he went away without the baseball. No runs on how many hits, Lisa? They had one hit and two left on. All right, with that, we'll head to the top of the top of the fifth. Brown County still leads three to nothing. Cassing Lumber Company in Mount Sterling is celebrating 50 years in business. We are your one-stop shop for all the supplies you need for your next home improvement project. Top quality lumber, building materials, and paint will give your home the freshness it deserves. We also offer a unique gift shop with new items every season for your home decor. Come visit us in Mount Sterling and always think Cassing Lumber. We'll all be glad you did. In Brown County, you know how much it means to have neighbors you can count on. Like the one who mowed your lawn and trimmed that week you were sick? Well, here's another good neighbor you can count on. State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright. Carolyn and her team are here to help life go right when you combine your home and auto insurance, which can save you money and time. So combine home and auto and start the savings rolling. Call State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright at 217-773-4170 today. KLC Inc. They are an apparel shop that specializes in screen printing, embroidery, custom and team apparel, promotional products, fundraising items, home decor, and personalization of almost anything. They strive to make the customer number one and get the customer the professional results that they are looking for. KLC Inc. at 509 Pittsfield Road or call them at 217-773-9090. KLC Inc. You think it, we ink it. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. The first three brought to you by Yingling Nissan Agency, 217-773-3397. Boylan, Robarczyk, and Maxwell. Boylan's had two hits. We'd like to get another one and come on in on it. Ball low. Because he has been part of our stranded on bases. Wind in the pitch by Shaw. He's pitched all four plus innings now. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. I think we can hear Jack a little more today because it's open on the end of the dugout. <laughs> so we get the full, the full privilege Jack Bus. The wind by Shaw. Here's the pitch. 3 0. Ball four. Boylan stays two for two on the day. Base on balls does not count as an at bat. So it neither helps you nor hurts you on your batting average. Robarczyk got hit the last time he was up and popped up to right. The pitch, there goes Boylan down to second. He's going to make it easy as a catcher couldn't come up with the ball. Another stolen base, that's a couple for him, isn't it? That is three for him. He'd like to get over to third, cause enough problems here for the middle to pinch. Nice base hit by Rabarchek to the right side. And Boylan says, I'm coming home. RBI single for Vlad Rabarchek. Makes it a 4 to nothing ball game. That'll bring up Meyer Maxwell. About an even drive for Grandma and Grandpa Maxwell to come over here for the ball game today. They live in Rushville, I think. Has to come into Brown County. Here's the stretch and the pitch. 
Strike call makes it 0-1. Rabarczyk with a decent lead at first, giving him about five, maybe six feet over there. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Charles going to check him out. Gets back in the stretch. Here's the pitch. Maxwell hit. Is that two or three batters he's hit? We've hit one. They've hit a couple. Two for certain, and I think... Saw the Cardinal game the other day. Uh, highlight. Highlight from the Cardinal game the other day as the coach goes out. We'll be back after these messages. All About Dance and More LLC is celebrating season 17 by providing more ways for students to perform, learn choreography, and grow bold relationships together. All classes highlight traditional dance techniques, age appropriate terms, and unique choreography. Come explore the magic of AADM with recreational classes and competitive team options. Wishing all BC Hornets luck this year. All about dance and more .com. A collision with your vehicle can be stressful on its own. You don't need more stress dealing with the Auto Body Shop. Mowen Auto Body and owners Chuck and Brandy Mowen can help take the stress out of the process. Chuck brings over 24 years in the Auto Body business and is iCar certified. Mowen Auto Body, 149 Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Call 217-773-2127. Mowen Auto Body, the quality of yesterday with the knowledge of today, the right choice in collision repair. Central Illinois oh. back with you on BC Hornet Sports as it is Jack Buss up and it's quiet a ground the ball hit to the shortstop that's going to be Sullivan throws over to first to Mitchell for the out 6-3 on the out but Rabarczyk ends up at third base and so that's going to put the chili dog up we just have one or two outs Lisa is that the second out one one out with Runners Dylan on. Rice up. First and third. Or excuse me, second and third. He struck out, and what else has he done today? Uh, chili dog. Ball Popped up to center. He usually put the bat on the ball. Steps back in. The stretch. The pitch. Ball low. Ball two. Brown County up four to nothing here. Top of the fifth inning against South Fulton. We're down in a or up in Astoria. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball low. If you notice, the screen is about, I'm going to say, four to six feet shorter here to home plate than it is at our place. A lot more green at home. Can't say I've been over on your side that much this year. Yeah, we try to keep you out of there as much as possible. I know the feeling. Problem is, you don't have any grass in the infield at your place. <laughs> 3-1 count with a strike call. Stretch by Shaw. Runners at second and third. High and inside. Chili will take the base. That'll load things up with one out. That'll bring up Jack Sefton. What's Jack done? I think we're going to have a pinch runner here is what I'm seeing. Yeah, I think that is, uh, is that Staten running for him? I think it is. Is Staten 24? Nope, 21. Oh, uh, that's who's running. I can't see. Yep, 21 is Staten. Sefton was a fielder's choice uh, to, get in, to get on in the second and did score that one. And then in the fourth, it was a 6-3 out.
So state. Yeah, and got uh, runner four. Rebarcheck. Rebarcheck. That's going to be Raniel Sanchez. They may play some JV innings. We probably won't broadcast that, folks, but uh, we may watch a little bit of it as we get things pack packed up and ready to go. All right, bases loaded with one out. Shaw steps back on the rubber. And, and up to the plate is Sefton. Sefton. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball inside. I said he niched him. That's a RBI also. Tough outing for Raniel there. <laughs> That'll bring up the Wyatt Casting, the ninth place hitter for Brown County. Bases are still loaded. The wind, the pitch outside. Got Maxwell down at third, Staten at second. Over at first is Sefton. Some pretty quick legs on the base pass with one quick one at the plate. Something in the gap's going to score a couple. Fouls that one off. Coach Hooch always up, coaching up kids, wanting to keep his body planted and start some recoil to get some power behind that. The pitch. Ball. Two balls, one strike. No room in the end, just like Christmas. That is for certain. Shaw steps back on. He's pitched all five innings here for South Fulton. They came in like one and six. They played half the games that Brown County has played. 3-1. He sure doesn't want to walk another one in and then have top of the order. Dieterly up. up at the top. And have bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Strike called right at the chest. So the coach, I'd say, not you, not you. Next one's you. Cassing steps in. 3-2 pitch with one out coming. Ball in. Ball four, RBI for Cassing. As Maxwell trots across. That'll put Staten at third, Sefton at second, and Wyant Cassing in. Out for a pitching change. Shaw will be coming out of the ball game and out from pitching, and we'll get back with you on the changes after this. Home inspection, the first name you should think of when buying a new home. Specializing in general home inspections, mold inspections, termite inspections, sewer scopes, radon testing, and drone photography. And serving the surrounding area since 2009, licensed and insured. Give them a call today at 217-622-6788. That's 217-622-6788. The Mount Sterling Savings Center, a customer-owned savings bank offering online banking from your computer or mobile phone, allowing you access to your account on your schedule. The Mount Sterling Savings Center is a proud supporter of Brown County Athletics. Mount Sterling Savings Center, conveniently located at 201 West Main, the intersections of Routes 24 and 99, is a branch of the Beardstown Savings located at 301 South Main. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to becoming a better version of you, there's no place to start like the Y. The Mount Sterling Community Center YMCA offers activities for the whole family. From youth sports to summer day camp, we have something for all ages. Kickstart your new healthy routine with our group exercise classes or work out in our fitness center, complete with a full line of cardio and weight equipment. Our indoor rubberized track is perfect for both running and walking, while our full-size gymnasium offers space for pickup basketball games and volleyball leagues. On-site child care is available while you work out for children as young as six weeks. We hope you'll join us at the Mount Sterling YMCA. Your future self and family will thank you. 
A Russet Garden ships home and garden accents coast to coast, right from its location in Mount Sterling. The folks there customize each sail by painting unique and vintage colors to match the look of the home or flower garden. They also do wrought iron fencing. How long does that last? 100 years? 200 years? Who knows how long wrought iron fencing will last? Shop www.arusticgarden.com and get it shipped directly to your front door. Have you ever thought about opening the door to a new truck driving career? If so, BNN Trucking is looking for you. At BNN Trucking, we offer competitive pay, health care, 401k, paid vacation, and holiday pay. BNN Trucking is currently looking for over the road, regional, and home every night delivery specialists. BNN Trucking runs the latest in modern equipment. For full details, please visit BNN Trucking. We'll come back with. Uh... Being in trucking, hey, tell you what, if you're looking for a great family operation, Lisa just talked to a family member who they work for being in trucking, uh, love working there, love the family atmosphere, and a great family to work for. Ball high to Dieter Lee, makes it a 1 1 count. Collins struggled to the plate today. What's he done today? He had a, a triple. He had a 6-3 out in the first. He had a triple in the second, and he struck out in the fourth. Number, is that number 10 in the, out, in the left field? No? Left should be sh the pitcher. Should be Shaw. Should be two. No, he's at second base. Oh. Ball low. I don't make it 2-1. Then that will be one I'll have to eyeball for you. Because if it's your second, it should be eight. There goes Jack again in the dugout. They're showing a 2 1 count. Six to nothing. I got to get my scoreboard updated. I'm late, folks. Sorry about that. Dieterly walks and they walk in another run. Makes it seven to nothing. Well, just in time for me to do it again. That'll bring up Maverick Henry. Gets us to seven. The pitch outside. Base hit could open up a can of worms here. And we are just about back to where we started in this inning. Here's the pitch. Side for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Only one out here in the top half of the fifth. Brown County leads seven to nothing. Strike call makes it two one. A stretch by Miller. High pitch, 3-1. Here's the 3-1 stretch and the pitch. Ball outside, ball four. Walk to run in. Every one of them's getting an RBI. That'll bring up Matt Boylan. So they get an RBI for a... Uh, a walk. When you walk them in. So everyone that... Yeah. I did not do that. So you're scoring. She's not going to look good. Yeah. They get some RBI because they were at, blade, at the plate and ran the count to get a walk. Hmm. Here's the pitch. A little blooper into right center, but the second baseman gets back and makes the catch. That'll be the second out. That'll bring up a bar check. I'd like to see a base hit and a couple of runs here is what I'd like to see for Brown County. Save on pitchers and in this game quicker if we can get a 1-2-3 inning. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Third baseman snags it. Steps on the bag. Five unassisted. 
We'll have a box score from Lisa when we get back after this commercial break. Or call 217-289-3555. Hi, I'm Heather Henry, owner and instructor at Heather's Tumble and Tap in Mount Sterling, where we have been teaching dance to the children of Brown County and the surrounding areas since 1995. We offer classes in tap, jazz, palm, tumbling, and offer an all-boys tumbling class for all those future Hornet athletes. At Heather's Tumble and Tap, we focus on fun, friends, and the fundamentals of dance in a non-competitive atmosphere. Follow us on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming classes and events. Go Hornets! The Brown County Animal Rescue is a foster-based rescue in Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have multiple families in the community who step forward and take care of our animals for us until we can find the permanent home that's perfect for them. We have multiple community programs, including a trap neuter release program, low cost spay and neuter transport, foster and adoption programs, as well as our blessing box. Brown County Animal Rescue is here to support our community and improve animal welfare. Learn more at bcanimalrescue.com. Looking for a place to gather? Meet me at the library. Need free access to computers and Wi-Fi? Meet me at the library. What about a resource for schools and students? Meet me at the library. How about a space designed just for kids? Meet, Meet me at the library. Where can all of Brown County go for books, history, entertainment, and community? Well, meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Back with you, speaking of the library, got most of the shingles on the roof. I saw that. They're looking for October for that to be done, I think. Or no, October for the new wing at the school to be done that they just started on. Weiss is your batter. Here's our three for this, brought to you by Yingling and Nissen. Well, it depends on if something changed or not. Am I, right now, I would have Weiss, Stambaugh, and Davis. Okay. There's two balls, two Weiss right now. Popped up. Staten still working into his fifth inning of work. And Dearly makes a play in foul territory to get the first out. And number 10 is your batter yep, here. That would be Tucker Stambaugh. Okay. He and has Stambaugh. been behind the plate. Okay. But that is a 10. Yep. Round ball to the shortstop, Henry. Scoops. Throws to first. Out. 6-3 nice on the out. Cooper Davis is your next batter, and he's been playing second base. Uh, he's probably the one that moved to moved. the Moved. Uh-huh. Probably went to left. The wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Fouled off. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Staten throws the 0-2, high for a ball, 1-2. Got kind of cloudy on us. Still a nice day out, though. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. And that is about the seventh, sixth or seventh strikeout for Staten. Six, seven. Seven for sure. All right. With that, we'll be back after these messages. The Joel Oliver Memorial Pool needs an update because if we don't, in five or ten years, it won't be here. I got involved with the pool when I was eight years old and I went door to door asking for donations to help build the pool. Now I get to bring my daughter here. It's just awesome to be able to have that. Thirty plus years ago, the community came together to build what we have today and we would really like to keep that going for another thirty years for the next generation to enjoy. 
Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. ServiceMaster Restore provides something very important to insurance carriers, and it's something no other disaster restoration company can match. It's genuine partnership. ServiceMaster Restore should be your preferred provider for several important reasons. Policyholders report higher satisfaction when the insurer recommends a restoration company. ServiceMaster Restore has the highest customer satisfaction rating among all major restoration companies. High customer satisfaction is proven to result in greater customer retention. We care. We serve. We deliver. We do the right thing. Land Guy's Toby Stay's relentless pursuit is to use his local expertise to help connect those with a shared passion for land. If you're in the market to sell, give him a call at 217-257-6096. Additionally, if you're in the market to buy, you can find his current listings by scanning the QR code on the screen or following him on Facebook at Toby Stay Land Broker or on Instagram at Toby Stay. He looks forward to connecting with you and providing a smooth process to your transaction. Larry Denning Accounting has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Down and Counting, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. Back with you. Lots of changes here. We'll just give the defense for you. And Sherrod's on the on the mound. Stand ball behind the plate. Mitchell at first. Shaw at second base now. Sullivan still at short. Riggins still third. Mustard in left. Miller in center. And Davis in right. And a first pitch to Maxwell's fouled off for a strike. And it got quiet again. That means Jack Buss is on deck. Ground ball past the pitcher. Picked up by Sullivan. Throws over to Mitchell. 6-3. That's been a pretty steady combo today. Yes, it has. Brown County up 8 to nothing on the scoreboard. And so that will bring up Jack Buss with one out. Stretch. Here's the pitch from Sherrod. Popped up. Sullivan says he's got it in short. No, Sherrod calls him off from the pitcher. One. And Staten is going to bat for himself. So they did away with the DH. DH when he came in to run for Rice. Giving him an opportunity to get some at-bats because he mostly gets DH'd for even when he's playing right field. Ball high. A stretch. And the pitch by Sherrod. Low. Two balls. The pitch, high, ball three. I don't know what's making the noise because your thing's not dragging now, so. I don't know. Here comes the 3 0 pitch to Staten. Ball, oh, strike called on the outside Ooh. corner. Well, I guess I can say now he's pretty consistently calling that a strike. 
Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball high. That'll be ball four. That'll bring up Jack Sefton with a runner at first base. Two outs. What's Sefton done? Sefton was our fielder's choice in the second and, and ended up scoring. Then he was a 6-3 out in the fourth. And he was a hit by a pitch in the fifth and was one of the runs on the board. Runner steals second in their safe is Staten with a stolen base. Here's the stretch by Sherrod, one strike. The pitch, ball high. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll make it one and two. Stretch and the pitch from Sherrod. Ground ball foul. Sherrod probably what, about 6'2", you say? 6'2", 6'3". Probably a good 6'2". Stretch and the pitch. Curveball outside. 2-2. Two -two. World not heard from from a while. That was Dylan Rice. Here's the pitch. Ball high, 3-2. There it goes, Staten over to third base. The stretch, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. No runs on no hits, I believe, right? That is correct. One man left, no errors. We'll be back after this. Brown County leads eight to nothing as we go to the bottom of the sixth. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. Hello, Earl Flack for your locally owned Cane Nap Auto Parts Store. You know the old saying, April showers bring May flowers? How about April showers bring McKay Napa savings? We got peak windshield wash. You know those bugs are going to be all over the windshield. $4.49. Do you want the blue? We got it for $3.99. How about Napa Full Synthetic Motor Oil? Save up to 60%, $20.99 for a 5 quart jug or $4.49 a quart. And save up to 24% on select small engine line oil filters. Get the good stuff with Napa Know How and thank you for your business. Time will drain each point. 
spot. Back with the NBC Hornet Sports. Shout out, we don't see him here today. Bob Cassing not here today. He might be listening to Lisa in the tractor. Hi, Bob, if you are, miss ya. AJ's here. I did see him. Here's the wind in the pitch. Low for a ball. And the first batter up is a different batter, which is number 14, Austin Clothy. I apologize if I miss that one on you. I just have a squeak. Here's the pitch. Popped up foul. That'll make it two balls, one strike. We head to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Brown County up eight to nothing in this contest. Wind by Cassing. Swing and a miss. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes. The wind and the pitch. All inside makes it a full count. And the pitch. Ball high. Ball four. Scassing walks his first batter. Easton oh. Sullivan up to bat. And they're going to have a runner for that young man. And it is 19. So Mustard's going to re-enter for himself there. Correct? Yes. So I really can do this. Patter Sullivan played a great shortstop today for South Fulton. First pitch from Cassing is a ball. Left-hander steps back on. He's in the stretch. Here's the pitch. Went down for that one. Out of play. One and one. Yeah, five of the outs have been had um, Sullivan involved in them. Inside, 2-1. Ball low, 3-1. Three balls, one strike. Ball hit up the middle for a base hit. That'll be brought back in by Sefton. That'll be runners at first and second. Staten had a really good game on the mound. Had seven strikeouts in this ball game and just one or two walks in the contest for him. Pitched a solid shutout ball. Casson coming in to close this out. Ground ball. Dieterle will get it. Step on first for the first out. Runners will be at second and third on a fielder's choice. Batter will be Mitchell. Mitchell up to bat. Curveball outside. One down, runner second, third. Brown County leads eight to nothing here in the bottom half of the sixth. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One one. The stretch and the pitch. Ball outside for a curve. Two balls, one strike. Stretch and the 2 1 pitch. Outside makes it 3 1.
Stretch, here is the pitch. Swing and a miss, makes it 3-2. Full count. Mitchell waits for the next pitch. Here comes the 3-2 pitch, ball outside. Loads the bases up with one out. That'll bring up the third baseman, Riggins. What's Riggins done today? Riggins has had a single, but it ended up being part of the double play. Uh, later on, he had it in the second. He had the single and then got involved in the double play and was out um, in the second, and then he struck out in the fourth. The pitch. One one count, one out, bases loaded. Casting the pitch, swing and a foul. And Staten did. He had seven strikeouts, and he only had one base on balls, and that was actually uh, a, the pitcher got hit. Hit by pitch, no base on ball, regular base Correct. on balls. Okay. Here's the stretch, the one two pitch. Line drive, Dieterle catches that, double play. With that, no runs on one hit, I believe. No errors. And uh, one left on base as we head to the top half of the seventh. Brown County leads eight to nothing. Products is a locally owned family company that has provided incredible employment opportunities in our area for over 40 years. Our constantly growing company is always looking for dynamic individuals who want to be part of an innovative, fast-paced team. To join our team, visit us online at timewellpipe.com. Timewell Drainage Products, a proud community employer since 1982. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. Specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons. Commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Cassing here in We'll be back with Brad Cassing as Wyatt Cassing steps in the plate. On the mound is Riggins. Mitchell moves over to third. Miller back in left. Sherrod back in center. And Mustard back at in right field. Strike called on the outside corner. Cassing. 
Massing toes that line up at the plate. Riggins 0-1 pitch. Ball. Here's the pitch. Ball. Makes it two balls, one strike. Stretch by Riggins. Here comes a 2-1 pitch. Ball low. Makes it 3-1. Oh. Here's the pitch. Makes it 3-2. You can tell Mr. Jack Buss found a comfortable position down there. He's... <laughs> Where everybody can hear him is setting up on the edge. So if somebody was running the camera, we'd point it over there. That's good. I like that. He's found his little hammock over there being the wall of the dugout. Ball four. Cassing gets on base. That'll bring up Colin Dieterly. What's Dieterly done today? He's had a 6-3 out in the first. He had a triple with... Two RBIs and was left on the in the third second. Struck out in the fourth. Had a base on balls in the fifth and was left stranded. Cassing goes Cassing. to second. Throw down there way late. Give him a solo base. Reagan steps back in. Dearly strike on that pitch. Here comes the 0-1 from Riggins. Strike called. And, mm, surprising. Riggins look in, 0-2, coming to Dieterly. Back to the backstop, there goes Cassing over to third. He says, I'm not going to wait this time. One and two. The pitch. That one hit hard, but it's going to be foul. Keeps it 1 2. The 1 2 pitch is rigging stretches, checks casting. Here's the pitch. Teed off on that one. It's long and foul. If that would have been straight, it'd been a home run. It's another one out in the trees. Mushroom pile out there. Some kid will come back and forget the baseball and bring back some mushrooms. There's some young boys running after it. Might bring back poison ivy, too. Here comes the one, two. Ball low, hit in front of the plate. Hit the catcher. Right smack dab in a face mask. Two two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Casting down at third. Riggins here with the two two pitch. Fouled off. Got a bird hovering over here. It looked for like a drone for a few seconds. Yeah, he's just laying up there in the wind, floating around. Here's the 2 2 pitch again. Outside ball three. 
Coach Hoot's going to let them steal all the way to third, but they're going to have to earn their way home, yeah. I think. Unfortunately, it's not getting out. You do have a shorter thing here, and so consequently, it's going to get caught pretty quick. Riggins looks in to get the signal on the 3-2 pitch. Here is the 3-2 in the dirt. Ball four. How to bring up Maverick Henry. What's he done? Mavs popped up to center. He's had a 6-3 out, and he's popped up to second. So he's due for a uh, Due good for hit. a hit today. That would be a really good time. Nobody out. Runner at third base. Ball low. There goes Dieterle down to second. Stolen base. He'll step back in. Here is the 1 0 pitch. Strike called. That was a ball. Uh, it's an 8 to nothing ball game. I think somebody's missing supper. Here's the 1 1 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brings up Matty Boylan. He's had a good day at the plate, hasn't he? He has. He's been, he's had a single. He's had two singles and a base on balls. And popped up to the second baseman the last time. Here's the pitch. Oh, I'm amazed. Can't say it loud enough. One ball, no strikes. I figured it out. I have to lay my head on my right shoulder so I don't so rub it. I call one one. I wonder if I turn my headset. I'm trying something. Try the other side. Here's a pitch from Riggins. 1-1. One, one. Boylan hits that. It's going to be out of play on the right side. Oh, and Henry tries to make a catch out there and misses the ball. Here's the pitch. Ball, 2-2. Two, two. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball, 3-2. Never had trouble with this before. It happens, yep. Yeah. Just depends on the material that's on it, whether it sends a vibration up through the microphone. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Runners at second and third. Here's the pitch. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't even make comments, folks. I'm too close to the umpire. Rabarchuk is up. It's an eight to nothing ball game. That's all I'll say. He's had a good game. He's had two singles and swing and a miss. Baseball balls and then he was a four out the last time. Two outs. Runners at second and third. Rabarchuk up. Opportunity for him to get some ribbies here. Ball low. Here's the 
Here's the stretch and the pitch. Called strike, one and two. One more close pitch and this end half inning will be over. Told you, close pitch. It was called anywhere smelling the plate within. Yeah, as we end that inning, Brown County still up eight to nothing, and hopefully three more outs and we'll be done. Thank you. Mount Sterling at Ray Insurance Agency. Uh, I want to thank you for supporting Brown County Athletics. I'd also like to mention that uh, you probably know that we are specialists in crop insurance, uh, hail insurance, and also any farm coverages that you might need. But what you probably don't know is we have very competitive rates on homes, autos, and commercial business. So I uh, thank you for supporting Brown County Sports and uh, look forward to hearing from you. My number is 217-773-3851. When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Mitsubishi Ductless Systems give you individual room control and allergen filtration with no ductwork, so you can be as comfortable as you want anywhere in your home. The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling can help you design a Mitsubishi system for your new addition, remodeling project, or man cave or she shed. Call Scranton Heating and Cooling today to come and evaluate the best option available to you. The Comfort Man, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Back with the MBC Hornet Sports as we get ready for the bottom of the seventh. And Sherrod will start things off for her. South Fulton. For South Fulton. Casting back out for his second inning work. They still have two outs on the board. I don't think that's quite appropriate. Nope. Popped into right field. Maxwell looking like he's got it. He makes the catch back in. One out. That brings up uh, the current pitcher, Riggins. He played third base today. Most of the game, he's about their, what, third or fourth pitcher in this ball game. Third one. Here's the pitch. Ball low. But it is not Riggins. It's not? I don't think. Yeah, it is. 59. Hit by pitch. No. No. That is the, that is no, wise. wise. Huh. I've been wrong then. Oh, mark it down. Every so often I'm right. Here's the pitch. Stembow. Fouled off. Strike one. And, and there's, you know, we're talking in, with the mic off about, you know, umpire stretching the zone out late. You basically are hurting the kids by ta knocking their batting averages down. Uh, but because of what you called early in a ball game is not a strike, is a strike now, and it wasn't earlier in the ball game. And so, uh, you know, that's the things that, that are the backside to that. Yes, we're up eight to nothing. But uh, oh, two count. here's the pitch. Popped up foul out of play. I don't know. That one going to make? Nope. Adam just made the uh, road over there. No, but here Didn't comes go two boys man. running from the other side. Stanball steps back in. He's had a long day behind the plate. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball. That's going to be to Boyle Island. Over to Henry. Fielder's choice and a force out. That's second base of Wise. Almost a second play, double play to end it. That'll bring up Davis to the plate. The stretch by Cassing. Here's the pitch. Fouled off, strike one. 
talking off mic, Lisa, about the Cardinal game the other day. The batter let his hand go and only had one hand on the bat, brought it clear back around. It hit the side of the Cardinal catcher's head, gashed him open, and, uh, you know, that's become used to. You kept both hands on the bat, and you didn't follow through that far. Catcher would have to be about three foot farther back if that was the case. And then Nicholas uh, threw tight, and then the next pitch after that, Hit the guy in the middle of the back to send a message about that. And he got tossed. Yeah. Uh, no warning of the benches. Just tossed him. One, two count. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's game. That's the end of the game. Post games brought to you by your Mount Sterling Foods. Hey, they had Asian Day today. That's one of my favorites. Asian Day at the deli at Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, 217-773-2213. And their, uh, keep, their uh, ad came out today for the grocery specials this week in the DM. Check them out and uh, see what they can offer. A small town grocery store offering what big town grocery stores offer to our community. And also the player of the ball game brought to you by Casting Lumber Company, hometown family-owned lumber and do-it-best hardware store. Celebrating 50 years in the community, that's Casting Lumber Company, Route 99 South, Mount Sterling, 773-2611. And Lisa's getting her stats together. I'm going to give you uh, the player of the ball game. Player of the ball game today is Eli Staten. Pitched... Uh, Five good innings of ball, a shutout ball, had seven strikeouts, one hit by pitch, and that was good. And for Brown County, six runs on, no. no they had eight runs, runs, six hits, one error, and nine guys left on. On South Fulton had no runs. They had three hits, no errors, and three left on. All right, and... On the Brown County side, did uh, anybody besides Colin have more than two RBIs today or multi-hit no. games? Uh, Colin would have had the RBIs. I think everybody else were singles. That would be my top. Yep, those are just point outs, but the player of the ball game is going to go to Eli Staten. With that, we'll be on the air with you if weather provides for us tomorrow against North Green. Delisa will be back to her softball girls. And I'll be back with the boys. We'll have two broadcasts for you tomorrow. And then Friday, we'll have Havana and Brown County for boys baseball. With that, Lisa Surratt, Steve Surratt saying goodbye, good night, and God bless. <laughs>